Hi, this is Cody with Go Engineer. I want to talk to you about the new Silhouette options found inside the D Feature tool inside SOLIDWORKS 2019. D Feature can be found from the Tools drop down, and once opening the command, you will see you have an added Silhouette option which is selected by default. There is navigation arrows in the top right hand corner to navigate through the tool. D feature works by selecting components and adding them to a group. Each group will have a prescribed simplification method, as well, if needed, an orientation for that simplification. We're going to now walk through the tool using this assembly for a few examples of different methods to simplify our model. At first, we're going to choose these black rectangular shapes on top of our housing to begin. Once we've selected the components, we need to choose the simplification method. There are a number of simplification methods available to the user. Bounding box will create a rectangle from the outermost extremes of the geometry. Cylinder will attempt to approximate our geometry using a cylinder. Polygon outline and tight fit outline are a little more complex. Polygon will attempt to use polygons to create an approximated version of our geometry whereas tight fit outline will try and use the edges of the geometry from a prescribed orientation to create our approximated model. Lastly, we will just copy the geometry. This will just copy the body from our current window into our simplified window, but it will strip away the feature reach history from our SOLIDWORKS model. For this first set of components, I'm gonna choose the tight fit outline and remain in the default orientation. I can choose Add Group now. Once I add my first group to the window, it will partition my window with the assembly on the left and my simplified model on the right. I can now continue selecting components and start my next group. For these springs, I'm going to choose the cylindrical method of simplification. Now mounting to the housing may be important, so I'm going to simply copy this geometry from my current window into my simplified model. The last major component that I see that I need to add is this weight here. We're going to choose this and again choose the tight fit outline option. Now if we look at our approximated geometry on the right, Compared to our assembly on the left, we'll see that this simplification was not a good fit. This is a good indicator that we may need to change our orientation for this group. To edit it, choose the group you're interested in, select the face or plane to use for the orientation, and click apply. We'll see the geometry on the left is now adequately represented by the simplified model on the right. Once you've added the components you're interested in to the simplified model, choose the next arrow to proceed to how you'd like to save out this simplified model. We can immediately save it in its current state, we can publish it to Content Central, or we can store these settings for future use. Use this option if you intend to add more components to your assembly, I hope the new silhouette options inside of D feature will help you simplify your models for both vendors and customers alike. Thank you for watching.